Oh, this is nice. All right. I think we're gonna do this. How's that sound, Ryder? Hey, how's it going? It's me, Carissa. And I didn't wake up too long ago, so I'm kind of a little uh, bleh, bleh from sleeping. But I wanna do a video because I'm home alone at the moment, besides the doggos. Ha, huh. all right here. Go lay down. One moment. All right, so before we begin, cause this is gonna be a sit down video, I got something in the mail and I have no idea what it is. So I'm gonna open it. No idea what I bought. Let's we'll see what it is. I wonder if it's... Yes. Look how cute. They say Harrison's name. And they're super adorable. I bought... God, when did I buy these? I bought these back in November. And it's currently January. That's how long it took for them to come. So, like I said, um, today's going to be a sit-down video, and today's topic is going to be about YouTube and how things are going, because I've been on YouTube for three years now, as you can tell. Thanks, Sky. You take a drink in my video, and you think it's okay? What is this? Is this your, is this your video? Huh? Is this your video? Okay, go lay down. Lay down. Good girl. So, back to my main conversation. Three years on YouTube. Woo woo. <laughs> um, you wouldn't guess it by how far along I've come. You know, heck, um, at this point, I'm just around 500 follower mark. And, you know, I was hoping like two years ago that I would have way more than this, but I set my expectations way too high back then. Especially when I look back at some of my videos, like, dang, they weren't the greatest. Um, editing content quality wise, they just were a little, uh, ugh. they were rough and of course, I'm not a video editor. I've just been learning as I go. I look at things online. I watch YouTube videos of other YouTubers and I look at their style and then I see how I can add to that with my videos and I'm just, I'm still learning what I like. And back then I thought, oh cool, you know, I've got a baby. People like babies. I'm gonna get a bunch of followers just by showing off my kid. And, um, then his cranial diagnosis came and I thought, oh cool, I'm gonna get a lot of followers because of his cranial diagnosis and us being in the hospital with him. And then eventually his helmet came and I thought the same thing. Of course that didn't happen. But you know what? I still have those videos and it took me a while to realize that the reason I did those videos back then is because I needed them more than I wanted to show them to everybody else. Because especially during that time, I was experiencing some really bad postpartum depression. I had a brand new baby, I had no idea what I was doing. I had to go back to work full time at a job that I used to like. And then postpartum hormones came, depression hit, and my work, the people I worked with ended up becoming horrible and things just weren't as great. So I wasn't happy and then Harrison's cranial diagnosis came and all of the issues with that and I was stressed beyond stressed. And so looking back at those videos, it's actually a healing experience for me because I can look back at them now and go, I know how I was feeling back then. My feelings were valid. I no longer experience that anymore. I'm in a much better place and let's start healing from that moment, from those moments. And so back then all of that was more for me and even though they are a little bit cringy when it comes to how they look, I'm still keeping them up because hey, 
you know, they're healing for me and they're part of the storyline because I've been on YouTube for three years. I have a three-year-old and when I first started, he was three months old and I've got all of these videos of him just growing up on YouTube and I can look back and go, oh my gosh, look at the difference between three months to six months and six months to a year and then a year to two years and I get to see all of that on video instead of the pictures on my phone, which I still have because why not? I love those pictures. But, um, you know, I still have those and I'm not letting go of them. They are staying and they are beautiful regardless of how they look. So I've created a little list of some of the things that I have learned from being on YouTube and uh, we're gonna start right now. Number one was I realized that a lot of my videos aren't the greatest because they are a little cringy and they look like a two-year-old edited them. But hey, I feel like I have improved in my quality as the time has gone on. I need to take my time to make sure these things look great. And so when I edit a video, sometimes when I do like my day in the life that are unedited, I just hurry and put things, uh, well, I don't hurry and put things together. I put things together and I just leave it at that because it's unedited. I want to show how raw and normal it is during our day and there's not much editing that needs to go into that because it's essentially like you sitting down on my couch as I'm going throughout my day and you get to watch me yell at my kid. <laughs> so those ones don't get as much editing time whereas something like this right here would get editing time but it wouldn't be as much as like one of my big vlogs that I want to showcase something exciting going on. So I'll do backdrop to music and then I'll edit it towards the music and all of that kind of stuff. So I realized I need to take my time on certain videos in order to make them how they need to be made. And so that's number two, making sure I take the time, which goes on to my next point of I'm only gonna upload once a week. I try to do the route of, I wanna get as many videos done as I can and just upload them and then do another one, upload it, do another one, upload it. Instead, I give myself a day, I'm gonna upload every Monday. And it gives me a chance, okay, well, I'm going to vlog on this day or I'm gonna record on this day and I have the rest of the week to record it. And then that is what I do. And so since I've been doing that, I've noticed that my videos have started to gain more attention. I'm uploading consistently and my quality's gotten better and I'm starting to see that upward trend of views and followers from it. And I'm actually pretty proud of myself. So, hey, go me. The next thing I have learned that being on YouTube is my mental health matters. Whenever I would try to upload as much as possible, I would burn myself out and I would get tired because I felt like I was just uploading too much and being a working mom plus a mom plus doing YouTube and trying to take care of a house and life and everything else, I would burn myself out and I would get tired and I decided I can't do that with myself. One of those things that I decided I'm not going to do that to myself anymore. I'm going to be consistent and making myself do one thing at a time. Um, I feel like that has been helping me out lately. Um, Things still get to me, you know, heck, I work, I work a part-time job and I work 38 hours a week. Life just gets crazy busy and I realize that, you know, I got to take things one step at a time. If not, then things get to me in order to take care of you guys because I like you guys. You guys are awesome and take care of myself and everything else. 
I need to take it one step at a time. Um, one thing I've realized as well is I actually found this out on TikTok. I've talked about it a little bit, but um, I have ADHD and I was diagnosed with ADHD when I was a kid. I've learned that my ADHD has the highs and lows too and um, sometimes that influences my videos. If there's something I want to share, I make like a bunch of videos in a row and I have them all laid out and there's like content for weeks and then there's those moments where I'm like, oh crap, I have no content, I have no drive and what am I gonna talk about? How am I gonna bore you guys today? Because my life is boring. Sometimes I'm like, I don't really have anything cool to share. So then that's when those day in the life vlogs come out. And I, I actually like doing those ones. Sometimes I'm like, okay, what's so special about me going to the grocery store with my toddler? But then, you know, it's like, okay, I showcase what he's like at the grocery store, or I've got a little bit of cleaning, or showing off an Amazon haul. But I'll do things like that. I don't know where I was going on that. Um, ADHD, hello. Hi, writer, how's it going? Okay, so what else do we need to talk about? Hmm? How about let's talk, let's go into more talk about, um, we'll go into my goals for 2022. So my goals for 2022, um, one of them I really hope happens. The other one, it really just depends on a few things. Another one eventually will happen this year, I bet, unless I completely like stop uploading videos. My first goal is to gain a thousand subscribers, which at this point I'm almost halfway there and I bet eventually it'll happen with consistency and the increase in quality on my videos. Um, but I've, I'm have i slowly starting to like gain my, my niche to know what my content is and what people like and my day in the life vlogs are people are liking as well as my minimalism. You know, my minimalism journey in the past year has been great. I've got, I have gotten rid of a lot of things and I like how things look and it's nice being able to open up a drawer or go in my kitchen and cook something and realize, oh hey, guess what? It doesn't look like crap anymore. It's not cluttered. It's not ugly. It's not this and not that, you know, just all sorts of things. And so that's been really nice. My next goal for 2022 is going to be one that I'm not going to talk about much because I want it to be more of a surprise so it has to deal with family and uh, I'm hoping it works out in a couple months I'll be working on that goal right now I am working on a few things with myself to help me start attain that goal and that's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, next goal for 2022 really depends on a lot of things. Um, I would love, we have talked about it, Curtis and I, and I would love to move to a new house. So the goal for 2022 is either begin some sort of movement towards buying a new house or moving to a new house. But I wouldn't be surprised if that doesn't happen. So goal of 2022, 2023. I think I'm gonna call it good for now and say if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I hoped my ADHD ramble made sense because sometimes I feel like I don't make sense. If it's made sense, thank you. Leave a comment below, tell me how I did, say hi. Say hi, I like saying hi back to people, it's really fun. Um, all right everybody, thanks for watching and I shall see you next time.